Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. This is the last build video for 2019 and I wanted to do something uh, personal because I actually needed another personal rig and it probably seems like I've got lots of computers that I use but that's the truth is I actually have three machines that I use basically every single day, usually two machines but I have been using the ITX system in the Cougar QBX that I've been using for testing and all that as my daily driver basically because I wanted to kind of separate my editing stuff away from my just browsing the web and doing emails and all work kind of stuff. And I decided that it was time to build myself something that was kind of powerful. Well, it's, it's pretty powerful. And also, if you remember back to the triple boot system we did, I wanted to incorporate that triple boot setup as my daily driver. So I decided it was time to build something uh, kind of compact, not quite compact, with decent airflow and yeah, something that can be very quiet as well and it can live on my desk every single day. So yeah, here it is, Fantex Shift Air. You guys have been asking for it and uh, I just went out and bought one yesterday and did a new personal rig build in it. So yeah, uh, come with us as we do a build. Just before we begin, as usual, this is a permanent system. I don't think I'm going to benchmark it uh, thermally. It is literally an open air <laughs> test bench. It's got all mesh side panels and yeah, it breathes really well. So you might as well just have all of your parts laying out on the desk if you were thinking about asking about airflow. Also, I wanted to address something that we always get. Whenever I use this motherboard, people are like, <coughs> He's such a noob, he forgot to use the R&D shield. Uh, it's an R&D sample um, and an engineering sample, so it doesn't actually come with any accessories. It's just a motherboard. If I had an I.O. shield, I would obviously use it. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do a build. Are you excited, Claire? Oh, yeah. Last one for 2019. Yeah. Let's go.
hope you guys enjoyed that part of the build. Now let's talk a little bit about the parts and all that jazz because that's like everyone's favorite part of all of these videos. So the board that we use is the ASRock Z390M ITX AC and it's an, it's an engineering sample so I don't have the IO shield like I mentioned a bit earlier in the video. The CPU is the Intel i9-9900KS. Uh, the reason why I use that CPU is because I wanted an 8 core CPU. I didn't have a 9900K laying around so I decided to go with the KS. What a problem to have, Claire. <laughs> Obviously the case is the Fantex Evolve. It's the Evolve Shift Air, right? Yeah, the Evolve Shift Air. It's got mesh panels. It's really good. I actually went out and bought this case. Usually when I do personal rigs, I'll go and buy a case because I like supporting things that I like. So yeah, I went out and bought this. Also, it's the time of year where we couldn't have got a sample even if we wanted to because yeah, it's around Christmas and New Year and everyone's on holiday basically. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice case. It's identical to the um, the Evolve Shift, the TG version, except that these panels are just mesh panels and that's basically it. And I did try and test fit this because we've got an Evolve Shift with TG and it fits, it's exactly the same. As well as that, there's a few things that I, I wasn't happy with in the build because um, I actually wanted to use my Radeon 7 in this build and I like that GPU. It's not supposed to be for gaming anyway. It's I just wanted a lot of video memory because there's a few projects I want to try out doing with this and the Radeon 7 was like the perfect match for it but I had to use a 5700 XT basically because the uh, PCIe power connectors on the GPU wouldn't fit, wouldn't, you basically just couldn't plug them in where the, the PSU is situated in the bottom. I use an SF650 from Corsair. Basically all of the cooling and RAM is all Corsair. So we're using a 32 gig kit of uh, Corsair LPX at 3200 megahertz. I'm using the LL120 fans. I'm using the Corsair H60, the newer version of the H60 for CPU cooling. Now, the CPU is a bit warm. Uh, it idles around 45 degrees, which is okay because this is not for gaming. It's, it doesn't have heavy workloads. It's basically my watching YouTube and replying to emails and spreadsheets and all the work kind of stuff on it, as well as a few other like Hackintosh projects and stuff like that. I just wanted to have a system where it could basically do everything and not be loud and yeah, that's basically it. As well as that, I did mention in the intro, this system is triple booted. It's running Catalina, it's running Mac OS 10.15.2, the latest version of Catalina. It runs it no problem. I didn't have to do anything funky to get it to work. It's basically running vanilla Mac OS because these ASRock boards are very compatible with Hackintosh setups. And the 5700 XT with the latest version of Catalina works out of the box now too. So you don't have to do anything really fancy. There's just one boot flag, which I might do a whole video about getting the 5700 XT running on Mac OS. But yeah, it basically just runs out of the box now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, it's running Pop OS on the other drive. There's two SSDs in there, which you probably noticed in the build as well and a 500 gig M.2 NVMe drive, which is housing my old Windows install from my old editing machine because it's got all of the music production stuff set up on that installation. And yeah, this is also going to be used for all the channel's music production. And th the idea really was just to have a nice, small, compact system because it does actually sit on in this tower orientation on my desk and it just sits away in a corner next to my main workstation. And I have a KVM, which is like a keyboard and video monitor switching thing where basically DisplayPort comes out of that. DisplayPort splits out into two machines and your mouse and keyboard on a powered USB hub with anything else you want to have plugged into it. And I can switch all of the input peripherals to each machine just by pressing a button, which is quite nice. I, I know there's a lot of people out there who already know what KVMs are, but if, in case you didn't know, they do exist. You can do full keyboard, monitor, and sound card and all that kind of switching, which is pretty nice, which is what this system is primarily hooked up to well. The truth is that's all it's hooked up to, but I'm pretty happy with the build. I would love to have used the Radeon 7. It probably would have um, been a bit better for my use case, but like I said, the, like physically the card fits in, but I just couldn't plug in the PCIe power. But yeah, what do you reckon, Claire? Yeah. That was a lot of talking for the end of the year, wasn't it? I didn't want to benchmark the system. I think it would basically defeat the purpose because it's such an oddly matched system as it is. And thermally, there's a lot of videos out with this case already and everyone says the same thing. It's got good airflow. It's literally just a, a bunch of mesh panels that just slide off. It's nothing too fancy. But yeah, that's basically it. It's my Evolve Shift Air 
personal rig build. Yep, I'm excited. And I have been using it for uh, about two days now before I film this whole bit. The whole filming of the build part was a couple days ago, but yeah, I thought I would share the whole process with you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty good way to wrap up 2019 if I'm, uh, if I'm being honest. There's probably gonna be one video after this before the, before the new year's out, but yeah, this will be the last build. Cool, did I say everything? I think you said everything. Man, I, I really did say everything today, right? If you're interested in any of the parts of this build, there's a PC part picker list down in the description. I'll try and put as many stuff as possible in there if you're interested. There's also Amazon links down there if you wanted to purchase anything. We do get a kickback if you do want to use those links, so it does help out the channel quite a bit. Also, if you want the music, that's right, the music. I make all the music. You can uh, get it on our Patreon or join our YouTube membership thing. We're still figuring out a way to, to um, distribute the music on there. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you guys. We're just trying to work it out. It is an odd time of year to do businessy and, and YouTube stuff. But yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe or hit the join button. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And 2019 has been a pretty epic year. And if you haven't seen our 2019 rewind yet, Go and check that out. Uh, that was a lot of fun to make. It took me four days to edit or something like that. And I used, I went back and got all of the raw footage from everything that we did last year and recut everything. It was, it was really fun to make and made all new music for it. It was sweet. Cool. That's it. Thanks for watching.